okay dear students um, let us see how to do this question a sample of oxygen gas with a volume of 3 meter cube is at 100 degrees centigrade the gas is heated so that it expands at constant pressure okay so the gas is there in the container and which is at state number one and now it follows a process and the process is constant pressure which is given a special name also and that is known as isobaric process now what happens in isobaric process is that pressure does not change for uh, the gas now the final volume is six meter cube and what is the final temperature of the gas okay how to do this thing now see ideal gas always follow the ideal gas equation whichever process it is like it is isobaric isothermal adiabatic or um, isochoric or whatever process it be but ideal gas will follow the ideal gas equation it means that PV is equal to NRT will always be followed. So we can always say that um, uh, at the first state, like for state 1, it should be P, V1 is equal to NRT1. And for the state 2, it will be PV2 is equal to NRT2. And now what we do is we just divide these two equations by each other. So PV1 divided by PV2 is equal to NRT1 divided by NRT2. And all these things will get cancelled out because they are not changing. So we reach to this um, equation which is quite simple to solve. This is uh, the equation where we are now going to substitute the values. So for one, it was three meter cube was the volume in 100 degrees centigrade. So on substituting, we, it will be three divided by six because now final volume is six. The initial temperature, now temperature has to be taken in absolute terms always. You see, in this equation, there is N, which is number of mole, isn't written in small letters. Every other thing is written in capital letters. Why? Because they're always taken in the absolute terms. So when we take in absolute terms, we write those things in capital letters. So this temperature has to be in uh, Kelvin. So it will be 273 plus 100 divided by T. And now we need to find T here. So this will be 2 and 2 will be multiplied here. So our answer will be 373 multiplied by 2 that is 746. So in Kelvin our second temperature will be 746 kelvin now minus 273 the answer will be 473 degrees centigrade now we are moving to our um, solutions our options given here b is the nearest most option that is 470 degrees centigrade so this is how we do this question and generally what is the mistake that students do they do a mistake here only instead of kelvin they make the calculations in degree celsius only and that is why they would be getting some other answer but this is not what we are going to do okay so my dear students this is professor varun please subscribe to the youtube channel all the best bye